Hello Myrtle Beach Elementary parents and welcome to the training on Compass Learning, which is also known as Compass Odyssey. Compass Learning is an online resource that we use here at Myrtle Beach Elementary School and in second and also in third grade to enhance the reading, math, and writing skills of our students. Now this program is directly aligned with map testing and provides engaging activities that will meet your child's specific learning needs. To access this program, you need to go to the Horry County Schools website and go into Online Learning. From there, you can click on Compass Learning and your child has to enter their own username and password. Now, this is a username and password that they should be very familiar with because they will use it in both second and in third grade. From here, they will have the option of either going into reading, math, or they can go into the writer section and work on their writing skills. Now, I recommend that they either go on the subject their teacher advises them or what you feel they need more support with. So if, for example, we go into reading, they would click on the main screen, and from here, they're given a variety of topics that they can work on. Now, as teachers, we advise them to go into the higher rip band because this is the area that they need the most support with. So if we were to go into language and go into language capitalization and punctuation, from here, you can see there is a variety of topics that your child will have to work on. Now, they have to go in the order that they are put up here, and they cannot skip around and go on to something else until they complete this activity. If you notice in the top corner, the check mark shows what they have already completed. And if you look at the bottom, we have some arrows, which will show us what they need to be working on and also quizzes that they have to take in the future. Now, if we go back home to our language arts page, you will see the different skills that your child can be working on. They can work on informational text, literary text, they can work more with grammar and work on their language, and they can also work on vocabulary. Now, as I mentioned earlier, they should be focusing on the higher rip bands because this is where they will be needing the most support and where map testing shows that they need the most instruction. Now, after we go into language arts, we can go back home and we can go and access the math section. You will see the different sections of math that they can be working on. They can be working on number sense, more on algebraic thinking, they can work on geometry, and then they can also work on measurement and data. Now, as I mentioned with reading, they should be focusing on the higher rep bands and going to those folders while they're at home. Now, if we were to go into geometry, I can click and see the topics that this student needs to learn for this section of geometry. Now, as I mentioned also, they cannot go and click around in this folder. They must complete the activities in order and also a lesson quiz to determine that their skills were mastered before they go on. Now, with the lesson quiz, we advise the students to get an 80% or higher in order for them to move on to the next quiz. If they do not receive an 80% or higher on a quiz or an activity, we ask that they redo it to complete it for mastery. This is to show us as teachers that they have grasped the concept and they're ready to move on to something new. Now, if you notice, some of these folders do have a lot of activities, so there's always plenty for your children to be working on when they're at home as well. The good thing about the math section in Compass Odyssey is that it also provides the students with a toolkit to assist them when they're working on math problems. Now this is an excellent resource if you are not available to help them or you would rather them try it on their own to get more practice and learn for themselves. 
Now this toolkit will be available for them through all the activities and also the quizzes. Once I click out of that, I can go back home. When I'm back to the home screen for Compass Odyssey, I can also access the other tools that are available with this program. As I mentioned earlier, your children have access to the writer section of this program. If I click into the writer section, I am brought to a screen where I can use to type my thoughts and also practice responding to questions. This is a great tool for your children to be using to assist them with other programs that we use like Achieve 3000 and also with Alex in typing in their math facts. Now from here they can save this and also they have the option to turn it into me so I can review it. If I X out of the writer section, this work, we're going to hit no because we just briefly began that as an example. Now I'm brought back to my home screen and I'm going to click on my portfolio. Now in my portfolio, I am shown three different tabs, recent work, assignments, and also reports. Now my recent work shows the activities that were worked on today. If you see here, this is all from today's date and it shows me exactly what time was the activity was worked on. And right here on the right, it shows the status of the activity or the quiz. When the icon is shaded in halfway, it means the activity is incomplete. When it's shaded in completely, it means the activity has been completed and they're ready to move on to the next section in that topic. Now, if I go into assignments, the assignment section will show me also what the student is currently working on, what they are in progress with. In here, the last tab I can click on is reports. This is a great area for you as a parent to view your child's progress and see how they're using their time in school and also after school. It can show you the activities that they finished how much time they actually spent on each activity, and also their score and their exact answers for their quizzes and tests. So if you wanted to review a quiz or test with them that they didn't do so well on, this would be a great place for you to look. Now, if you look over to the side, you can generate a report by selecting a subject. So I'm going to go into selecting the subject of math. And then I'm going to select I want to see how that my child is doing on the learning activities and how they've been doing for the past month. From here, I can select Generate. And then I will be provided with a report that shows exactly what I want to know. This shows me the activities that my child has completed in math over the past month. If you look over here on the side, this shows me the duration, how long my child has spent on these activities. Now, if I'm seeing that they have just spent a couple minutes or a couple seconds on an activity, this might be a conversation that I would like to have with my child about taking their time and really making sure they take all their activities seriously. As teachers, we also get a report like this every week, and we use this to drive our instruction for small group and conference with our students about how they're spending their time when they're on the programs. From here, I can also see the scores they receive on their activities and their quizzes. Now, this is a great tool and you can also select it for reading and you can see the different ranges. If you want to know how they've been doing from the beginning of the year, you can also type that in. Now, if I wanted to go back and click on the lesson quizzes and see how they've been doing on the lesson quizzes for math, I can generate a report for that and actually click on the score. When I click on the score, I am brought to the exact questions and answers that my child did when taking this quiz. And I also have the option to print this so I can use this as a parent to help them in the future. This is also a tool that we use as teachers to help them with skills that they have not mastered yet 
and ways we can fix it and improve it for next time. I'm going to close out of this. And then I'm brought back to the home screen. If you notice on the home screen at the very bottom, there's a magnifying glass. This is an option for your child to type in an activity that their teacher has given them to specifically work on. If they wanted them to work on comparing and contrasting, they might have given them a special code and once they type this in, they can be brought up to that specific activity. Now each of the activities for Compass Odyssey, they're very engaging and animated for the children. The children love completing these activities, so I believe that if you suggested to them to go on at home, they would really be excited about using this program at home because it's more like a game environment and a game lesson for the kids than it is actual textbook learning. They also have the option on this screen to hit mail and on mail they can email their teacher if they are confused about a topic or if they had a question or they want to know what something else they can be working on at home. As teachers we check our accounts regularly to see if we're receiving any mail from our students so we can provide them with feedback. And Compass Odyssey is a very, very exciting and engaging program for the children, and it's a lot of fun. And we use it in both second and third grade. And I highly recommend that you encourage your children to use this program whenever they have free time at home, because it'll really increase their MAP scores, and it'll also help them become a better learner overall.